Uh, thank you, BAC. Thank you, Andrew, for the nice words, um, for the honor and the uh, privilege to be a part of this group. Uh, I'm going to start off with a little bit of background about myself. Uh, went to college at Cleveland State. I uh, graduated in 2010 with an accounting and finance degree. Um, coming out of school, I got a, I kept getting the same question from family, friends, you know, what big four are you going to go after? Where are you going to work? You know, are you going to be a CPA? And through different experiences, you know, throughout college, I knew that I wanted to still be in private business. And I didn't know if that corporate structure was right for me. So I jumped into private business um, as an accounting manager, worked my way up to a senior accounting manager. Um, and I did that for about eight years. And I worked for companies that were from $2 million all the way up to $40 million in annual sales. Um, actually at my last job, this is the way that Skyplex started. Um, the contractor that was in, in charge of the maintenance company um, needed help with their books. And they couldn't figure out, it, their, his wife was doing it. It was turning into a battle at home. And um, he asked if I would be willing to do it at night. And I said, yes. So that was my start to my first client. Um, and I started moonlighting. Well, I went into work one day and, you know, we were downsizing and I unfortunately was part of that casualty, but I had this growing and it was something that I really, really wanted to pursue and see what I could make of it. Um, so I realized that there was a niche for small businesses that lacked the accounting experience needed to make sound financial decisions. Um, whether it be, you know, small contractor businesses, um, somebody like Andrew starting out being an entrepreneur, um, I believe that there was a lot to, there was a lot left on the table for people to make smarter decisions based on numbers. So I started to reach out to different people and kind of feel them out and see what they thought. And um, there was definitely an avenue to pursue. CPAs kind of shy away from this kind of work. They don't like to be in the nitty gritty year round with people. Um, sometimes it, it, whether it be a secretary or somebody else that, you know, gets the duty of QuickBooks or paying the bills or whatever the case may be um, without the skills and the understanding of what they're actually doing. And sometimes that can really hurt businesses. Um, so my first client, after I cleaned up their books, um, their tax bill got cut in half from the previous year. So with that being said, they basically paid my entire annual fee with the adjustments that I made to correct the books. So in theory, not only do I save the individual, the, the entrepreneur time, which I think is incredibly essential to people, um, I also basically pay for myself, um, doing things correctly, not booking things incorrectly throughout the year. So for about eight months, I had one client. Um, and this is where BAC kind of comes into the fold, where I was struggling so, so much that I was debating giving it up, kind of doing it as a side job and going back and getting a real job. And um, I had paid for a marketing company to create a website, do ad campaigns online, all these different things, and nothing worked. Not, not for me. I was trying to do things in the fall, thinking that people were planning for tax planning for the next upcoming tax season, and nothing worked. Um, so I started reading a bunch of articles on startups and entrepreneurship and different things like that. And a lot of it came down to mentorship. It takes a village, you know, an army is better than one kind of scenarios where I thought that it was time for somebody else to come in and help me, you know, what I, what I think may not be right. So that's when I think, I believe it was the fall of 2018. Um, I signed up for the mentorship cons um, with uh, John and BAC. And that's when I met him. Um, it was, it was very interesting. It was very, it was a unique situation. I didn't need help with probably certain things that other companies might need help. I don't need help with budgeting and forecasting. I don't need help with a profit and loss statement um, or business planning. My biggest hurdle was client acquisition. And 
struggling for so long, I was kind of defeated throughout the whole process. Um, like John said, we started having our regular meetings at Panera and we started developing all kinds of different things uh, from redoing my business cards to creating marketing material to creating a brand and an image and a message that was relatable to the people that I was going after. Um, being more than just an accountant, being more than just a bookkeeper, being an advisor, you know, as a whole throughout the entire year. And I think that that really resonated with some people um, that helped me grow. Uh, so Andrew, you were my second client um, in January of 2019. And since then, <clears throat> I'm up to 17 clients now. And we've been fortunate enough to double sales year over year at the minimum um, and hope to be a six figure company this year. But, you know, throughout that entire process, um, John and BAC, I don't know if I would have, I don't know if I'd be here right now without you guys. Um, you guys were a sounding board for ideas and questions. I remember sending out flyers and then John blasting them out to people to see if the verbiage was correct, if the imaging was correct, different things like that, you know. And in a lot of ways, he's somebody that holds me accountable. Um, I'm a one man band and, you know, working at home all the time, uh, there's distractions and there's some days when you wake up and you say, I don't want to do it today. Well, when, a, when you have to report to someone in some kind of way, um, I think that that really pushed me along and got me to where I am faster or just all together. I don't know if I'd be here, honestly, if I weren't for those meetings. So I appreciate you guys, um, everything that you do for people like myself. Um, and I think that it's a huge asset to people that are trying to start something on their own. So thank you.